Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Face Plays Costume Quest 2. I'm a pterodactyl and I'm trying to blow away the fire, but it's not really happening. Okay, so uh, in the last episode we just destroyed a boss called Chronoculus. And we met a family of like witch people. And uh, are you okay? The Chronoculus got free? How that is possible? That's what she said. I don't know how you were able to defeat him, but thank you. Yeah, so that... What, what are you doing, dude? Finally, I can't believe I got through. Now what I do? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. This is how you welcome monsters? I don't know your customs. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm assuming you're evil, but I guess you're not evil right now. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. The monster gate is open again, and we're powerless to stop them. I know you tried to help us, but I'm sorry we didn't listen. I can't believe I lost the talisman. Congratulations, you killed Halloween. I never saw Dad get bested before. Who was that crazy wizard? I don't know, but he's a bunch of little crazy. But he's a bunch of little crazy wizards now. Oh, okay, so that's what that was. I destroyed him, and he turned into tiny little wizards. All right, cool. Um, well, yeah, we gotta go back to the future. We have to. We actually have to go back to the future. That's actually really awesome. And uh, we have to talk to our friends Everett and Lucy. Was it? I think it was Everett. Oh, dang it! Oh man, I didn't. I thought she was still turned around. Oh well, let's wipe the floor with these nerds. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Let's take him out. For all I know, he's probably. These guys are probably pieces of Chronoculus himself. Um. Sure. I'm just gonna do some normal attacks. I'm not really gonna waste my specials on him. Boom. Unfortunately, they are still pretty tough. Yeah. 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 Okay. All according to plan. So I have to go back to the future and see what happened in the future and talk to Everett and Lucy. Um, I mean the I didn't stop the dentist from getting the talisman though. Hmm. I don't know what I don't know what we're gonna do. Time will tell, I guess. Because, like, he has a talisman, that's literally the reason why we we're here. We were trying to stop him from getting it in the first place. Plus, his younger self technically just learned of the talisman, making it uh, able to happen a second time in the future. Because, <laughs> like, what is even. Time travel is super strange, man. Right? It can get entangled so easily. And I'm pretty sure that's why it actually doesn't exist. Because if it did, everything would collapse on itself and explode into tiny little pieces and eat them. Victory! I got a candy. Man, third exile sounds super cool. Alright, let's try and let's try our best and avoid further conflicts. Because I just want to get to Everett and Lucy. Okay, be careful. No witch doctors. Okay, cool, we're good. Let's get out of here. Who's gonna paddle? Or oh, okay, it just works now. Cool. <laughs> no complaints here. So to fix it, we could have literally just smacked it a little bit with that work. Glad to know. French Quarter. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna visit Shady for a little bit. Plus, I always love the French Quarter music. Hey, Shady. Oh wait, that's Reynolds. Hey, Shady. Can I see what you got again? Sure, but make it quick. Time is candy. Alright, so we got a map, but I already bought that, I'm pretty sure. Clown upgrade! A clown in rainbow clothes, cloth will get even louder, laughs for stronger heels. Huh. Cool. <laughs> okay. I wonder if this candy corn upgrade actually does anything. I don't know. Strange. Star patch. Add this star patch to your superhero costume to imbue it with super, with the power of stars. Tap, tap, toffee Taffy? Cancel all enemy debuffs on players. Awesome. Su sour Dumps? <laughs> Max out all three hero special leaders. Wow, that's amazing. That's a lot of candy, but I like it. I feel like I should get one of these upgrades pretty badly, actually. Greater heals. That's a good thing, actually. That's very good. I'm, I'm, I'm a healer kind of man. Is there another page? No, there's no page. Well, I'm glad I checked, because that's pretty sweet. Uh, did I mention that I get zero return policy? So, those sour dumps are definitely on my on my to-do list of to get. I want that. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this in any previous episodes, but I ordered um, physical copies of uh, Creepy Tree cards from Double Fine. 
And I'm very excited to get those in. I really, I really love, like, all those designs. And I love this game a lot. I love this series. I love the first game a lot. I remember enjoying it so much when I first got it. And I played it during Halloween. And it was just fun stuff. What's this guy? I got enough problems without having to worry about gators eating my cards, you know? Does this, uh, I guess he doesn't really have anything else to do with me. Um, I wish I had a you are here picture somewhere. Because I'm actually unsure as to where I am right now. Oh, okay, now I know. Because this ramp. This ramp is like a... What is that? It's just a stump. I thought it was a rock. And you know, rocks and stumps. I get mixed up sometimes. That time hole is somewhere over here. Where did it go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I think we took the clock from Chronoculus. But how do you accidentally take that? We made it impossible forever to steal it from him in the future. So, can't we just use it to open a new time hole? Uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Nope, I don't know how to work it. Dang it. Does that mean y'all are trapped here? Cool, we can hang out more. No, it's not cool. We need to get home. Oh, <laughs> I know. Let's dig a hole and let's just grave our own, uh, scrape. Let's just dig our own graves. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's genius. Why didn't I think of that? Hey, Monty, I need you to do us a huge favor. Sure, what? I need you to remember where I buried this clock. Uh, do I look stupid? You just buried it in front of me. How could I forget? I mean, you have to remember for like 20 years. 20 years? Why? Because in 20 years, our friend Everett is going to live here. You need to tell him that this clock is buried under his house so we can get us out of here. So we can get us out of here. Okay, Everett. 20 years? Got it. What an abstract concept. <laughs> I understand what he's going for, though. Monty, you promised. What? I will. I promise. I won't forget. Sheesh. <laughs> That's awesome. You did it. Thanks, Monty. I did? Well, I told you I would. Thanks, Monty. Give my superhero costume back, please. I just bought an upgrade. Wait. What did I buy for? Oh, wait. I bought it for the clown. I guess this is it. Goodbye, Monty. Thanks for everything, Monty. Bye, guys. I guess it's gonna float this piece of wheat in my mouth hole. <laughs> right. Hey, we're back to the future. <laughs> hey guys, we know you were able to stop the Chronoculus. That was good. Doctor White won't be able to manipulate time anymore. But nothing here has changed. So you must have still stolen the talisman, huh? Yeah, sorry. He sized his time wizard on us. He's sick, I guess, and stuck out. What are we going to do? Open another time hole to escape? We're not leaving without our daughter. You guys have a daughter? Oh no, she's ugly. And two people. <laughs> That's some very nerdy clothing. Okay, he's just here now. Are we like totally dead now? Shovel chin. E. Costume violation. Costume violation. Gods. Get this infernal thing out of here. Yes, Dr. White. Oh, so he didn't want that thing to be in there? And bring me that clock. No, you will never use this again. Oh, what the? What are you doing? Lucy, what did you do? We'll be stuck here forever. You should not have done that. Guards, take these two away and throw the book at them. Throw a book at them? What book? <laughs> Just put them in jail, you imbecile. Lucy, ever at... It looks like these two little lawbreakers need an education. And roll them into the Tooth Academy at once. Ow, hey! Gay, get off me! Smelly grubbin! Those kids look familiar. Hmm. I'm old now. Ooh. Nice art. Saving! Okay, human children, simmer down. That guy looks exactly like a gremlin. Whoa. I love this area. Look at that shelf. It's a giant mouth shelf. Today we're going to review last night's reading lesson. After which you will have a half hour break for recreational flossing. Half hour for flossing. Now let's see who did that reading. Who can tell me about Halloween? Is it all? 
Is it a hall where they keep weenies? <laughs> no, but it is not a hall where they keep... It's a fart! <laughs> That's awesome. Duncan, no more outbursts from you. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, Truman. What is Halloween? Is that Ren? Is that Reynold and Ren in there? Anybody? Oh, I can press B. Sigh. I know. Okay, new kid. Remy, is it? Tell us what. Uh, tell us about Halloween, please. Halloween is the best holiday ever. Everyone gets to wear awesome costumes and you get free candy. Wrong. Now I can see why you were sent to the academy. You need some serious education. Can someone tell Remy what Halloween really is? It was a night of evil where parents trick kids into eating poison. <laughs> well done, lad. You did your reading. You get a gold tooth. And thankfully, Grandfather White did away with the evils of Halloween long ago. Now, who can tell me about the ill effects of candy on humans? I mean, that's a little bit... It makes your teeth fall out. Good. What else? It's a little bit accurate, though. It poisons your insides and makes you die. <laughs> Well, not, not immediately. But great comprehension. What else? I just noticed that projector is a floating thing. Yes, Remy. I'm Reynolds, not Remy. That's what I said. Anyway, what is your answer? Candy makes kids happy. It's chewy and yummy and gooey and amazing. <laughs> Do you even know what you're saying? You were staining your teeth with these preposterous lies. If you don't remember the lesson, then go. Then don't blurt out random gobbledygook. Okay, class. Next question. How did Grandfather White liberate the Rapugians? Oh, he lured them out with candy. Wrong. Anyone else? He farted. <laughs> Duncan, one more outpost from you, and it's detention. <laughs> did none of you human children do your reading? He stole a witch talisman and used it to make the monsters do what he wanted. Yeah, like teaching this stupid brainwashing class. <laughs> That's it! Your subordinates will go down the hall to detention at once. Happily. I can just raise my hand. I, I can just raise my hand just randomly. Could I have walked that whole time? I look cool in a little little uniform. Hey, Freeman, Truman. Duck, it said fart. Haha. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you got detention and I didn't. Hey, what's up, Laird? Everyone says I drank the Kool-Aid, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, I thought she was weird, actually. I copied off Chandana. Don't tell. I think Bird is cheating off me. Say hi to Hallie in detention for me. I bet Hallie's, like, my next partner. Okay, what's, what do you got? What are you doing back here? I told you to go to detention. Alright, nerd Leroy. Let's get out of here. Teeth dentist communism. What's up? Where is the tension, Mr. Grubbin? I have no idea, human child. Maybe try the detention room at the end of the hall? <laughs> that would be a good place to start, I think. Tooth Academy! Jordan, I told the teacher that I had to use the bathroom. But I really just wanted to wander the halls. Can't say how many times I've done that. I'm supposed to be an intention, but I like it better out here. Kneeling in front of this door creepily. Nice floating plant. Cool, I want floating plants. Okay, is this the detention hall? Is Hallie here? Is that Hallie? That looks like Hallie. Ooh. Hey, dude. More troublemakers, Mr. Snizzle. <laughs> Snizzle. Have a seat next to Hallie. Face forward and don't make a peep. Oh no, we have to sit quietly. What a terrible thing. Hey guys, I'm Hallie. What are you in for? We told the truth about Halloween. I guess that's not allowed here. Me too. I told them that costumes are awesome. I can't help it if they are. My dad even made me a rad superhero costume once. Ooh. But we had to keep it... Oh, I know who she is. She's Everett's and Lucy's daughter. Wait a minute. Is Everett your... There you go. Yeah, do you know him? He's our best friend. We went to school together. Quiet! Oh. Oh, Ren and Reynold, my mom and dad won't shut up about you. They said you were going to help save us. We tried, but Dr. White took our stuff and threw us in here. And his guard took our parents away too. Sorry, Hallie. Er, your parents. 
What? You and my mom and dad? We have to go save them. Haley, join your party. <laughs> cool. I made a good guess. Now how are we going to get out of here? I'm raising my hand, teacher. What is it, human child? I'm trying to update my profile. <laughs> I feel sick. Can I go to the nurse? Sick, huh? Oh, gosh. What, what the heck? Whoa, cool. Is that a scanner thingy? It's like an eyeball. Okay. Maybe they'll notice that I have candy in my stomach. And be like, uh oh, he's gonna die. Cause candy. These rings show no signs of illness. You're fine. Uh, let me just raise my hand again. Do the, do the girls have cute little tooth pins in their hair? That's cool. What is it now? Can I use the bathroom? You'll have to wait until the bell rings, human child. But actually, you reminded me that I must go to the bathroom. I've been sitting at this computer for hours. Stay in your seats until I get back and no talking. Yeah, we're totally not gonna, you know, leave. Because you're not here. It's not, it's not what's gonna happen. Nice rosy cheeks, by the way. I'm talking to Mr. Sizzle. Yeah, he's creepy. Yeah, he's actually pretty creepy. Um, so, when do you want to leave? <laughs> Now's our chance. Let's get out of here and get our costumes. Yeah. By the way, I was putting together a costume myself. My teachers confiscated some of the materials, but they didn't confiscate this. Ooh, what's that? A piece of the costume, I guess? What was it? Let me check. Let me check. Costumes. Completed, completed, completed. Jefferson. What? Really? <laughs> like Thomas Jefferson? Or... <laughs> okay, cool. So, I guess we're going to get a new costume in here. Nice poster. Let's see what we can do. What's going on over here? Whoa, what the? Can I open this? Oh, cool. Hey, I got a powdered wig. Wow, that was easy. I just open. Okay, I can just open the drawers. Sweet. Awesome. I'm loving this level already. Hey, kid. Nice way to cut class. In a. Whoa. <laughs> I always hated these kinds of like classroom pairings. It's like three lame chairs facing each other all weirdly. You got a custom material. Buckle shoes. Sweet. Man, this is super easy. This is like easy town. Wait, is this my class? I probably shouldn't go in there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and not. Whoa. Oh, hey, Grubbin. I'm not doing anything bad. It's locked. Darn it. Let's see what we got over here. Those those doors are like weirdly slanted. I like it though. I think it's on purpose because of the camera angle. So you can actually see what the heck you're doing. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah. Oh, oh sweet. I'm Jefferson now. I got a cute little ponytail. This is awesome. So now I have the ability to fight back if trouble arises. Oh, that looks like trouble right there. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and not do that. What is over here? Okay, I can't open this, but there's a fountain. Let's drink from that. Creepy skeleton fountain. I'm already refreshed. Okay, cool. Oh, I can shake hands with people. Let's shake hands. I'm not feeling diplomatic right now. <laughs> School's not out yet. Get back to your class, slackers. I remember that guy from the first game, actually. Whoa. Hey, is that... Is that my teacher? Who's in there? It's Mr. Sizzle. What are you doing out of detention? You human children of the West. We were worried about you. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. What a line of hooey. Get back in that class right now. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just... Let me just diplomatic... Diplom diplomacy. This didn't seem like the time for diplomacy. It didn't, but it also doesn't. Prince? Oh, the principal? I mean, just... Uh, dancing makes it a little easier to hold it in. Is that so? I find that to be not correct. In actuality. Uh, diplomacy? I can't help notice that you're slaving over these floors, Mr. Grubbin. I'll say. Well, would you believe they want the floors clean all the time? Not to mention that I'm stuck with a first generation hover bucket. <laughs> it looks like back breaking work. I think you owe it to yourself to take a break. You're right. Maybe I will take a break. My back muscles hurt. Nice break. You just stand there next to the stairs. What is this? Ooh. What the? Is that a bag? Oh, I got my stuff back. Yeah, now we're cool now. No, oh, you are not going to be a. Don't be a friggin'. Okay, I'll make her the pterodactyl. Then, I want someone to be the clown, though. 
So I guess I'll make her clown. Healer. Weaken enemies. Focus. Nuke. What do you mean nuke? Like nuclear reaction? <laughs> Focus. Inaction. Yeah. I mean, I, I like heals, so I'm going to make her the clown. I, I want someone to be the clown, so. Hey, girl, what's up? Kitty. Whoa, did they give out costumes while I was sleeping? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I have to kill this dude up front. See what this guy's gotta say. Duncan, I talk about farts to get laughs, but I know it's lazy comedy. <laughs> it's pretty fun, though. You look weird. What is that what you're wearing? Hey, I'm diplomatic, okay? My teeth are in the 99th percentile, bro. <laughs> well, I'm in the 1%. Of teeth stuff. Oh, yep, that's right. That's what I thought. Going somewhere? Oh, it's the principal. Your behavior has been unacceptable. Look at this list of infractions. There's like five things: disrupting class, skipping detention, kidnapping, stealing school property. These costumes are our property. You stole them first. And what do you mean kidnapping? I left because I wanted to leave. I'm not finished. Violating the Costume Act, manipulating our janitorial staff, and attempted escape. Oh, trying to escape is a funny one, humans. There's no way to escape the Tooth Academy. Time for the beatdown. At least not without a proper education. With my fists in your face. Thomas Jefferson! Achuk! <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so lanky. Whoa. I give her new clothes for sure. Whoa. Does he have a comb over? Quill attack. Declaration of destruction. That's so, so cool. Okay, I'm assuming... Let me try this. Can I use this? I can't use this. So he's basically another boss. Let's try declaration of destruction. Well, you know what? Let's not. Let's wait until he summons up a, a minion. Whoa, that was sick. That was super cool. But I do kind of want to do this. Whoa, I just noticed his health bar is massive. It's like double the size of the last boss. Let's do it! Air raid! I almost hit that building. Yeah, alright. Not bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taste my new threads. Rainbow clothes. Man, I'm looking very colorful. Ugh. Did I do it well? I think I did well. Um. I still feel like I should wait for my Quill of Destruction deal, so let's do that. Okay. Cool. Paradactyl and Tactyl. Yeah. I'm not getting any amazings. So let's, let's try for an amazing. Let's focus. Let's focus here. Yeah. yeah, I did it. On purpose. Sweet. Principal Bojim is weakened. Ow. Is it raining? Has it been raining? I haven't really noticed. And boom! Ah, not amazing. How not amazing am I? Alright, let's do it. Yeah! Nice! Okay. Um. Let's see. I feel like I should do a creepy G card in the next round. So, let's do that. I'll do a Suckums card. <laughs> it's like my favorite favorite name for a card right now. Suckums. Alright, let's do a card. Let's do the Suckums. Let's do it on, uh, Reynold. <laughs> what the heck? Why did he do a little jig? Alright, so, I'm gonna do a normal quill attack. Yeah, amazing! And now, I'm gonna do Declaration of Destruction. See what happens. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> I just threw it at him. Hmm, let me read it carefully. <laughs> that made no sense, but I loved it. Alright, that was great. Hey, yeah! I don't know, how much damage did that just do? Uh, like 125? The uh, declaration thing? I think it was like about 125. Yeah, amazing! Alright. We gotta wreck him a little bit. Okay, I have my, uh, my heal ready to go. In case I need it for a dire, dire situation. Alright, 35. Didn't really get to, too good of an attack on that one. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Awesome, awesome. Alright, this is going well. Laughter is the best medicine. I feel like I should just do that. Let's do it. With my colorful rainbow clothing. 
Huh? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I just wanted to see that again. Alright. Oh, I don't. Did I block that well? I think I did. Let's just shoot some ink into his mouth. Yeah. Alright, I don't have any other creepy cards that will assist me. I mean, I could use that. Uh, I probably should actually use that uh, that one more time. I'll, I'll do it on the next round because I. Doubt this one, you know, <laughs> 38, 31. Does that mean he's resistant to clan attacks? Is that what's going on here? Alright, so I will do a cool attack. Yeah, cool. I got an amazing out of that. And now I will use a creep G card. Um I'll use a suckum. And uh how do I pick it? I wanna pick it. Wait, is that on like cooldown or something? Oh, I think it's on cooldown or something. What? Ah, oh, dang, that sucks. I did not know that was the thing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do Pterodactyl. Uh, yeah, goggles on. Woo! Delectables. Did you see that? That cool sign back there? I just noticed the signs back there. Delectables. What a cool name for something. Well, at least he's affected by eggs now. He'll just take extra damage. And he's weakened. I'm assuming that weakens his ability to you know give me more damage like it lowers his attack stat I guess I don't know for sure it, it either does that or it just hurts him some more later like kind of like a poison effect all right we're on the home stretch nice I like his I love how he's like wearing full battle armor and then he's and then he's just wearing a little tie whoa Hallie's almost dead Okay, this should do it though. This should do it. Yeah. <laughs> Victory. Do 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 do. <laughs> Strong defense against. Okay, never mind. Whoa. Okay, well, he's dead now. I was expecting some sort of witty banter. But uh, apparently, there's like type advantage, uh, type advantages and stuff, like Pokemon. I'm not really aware of that. Hmm. I'll study it uh, on my break from ending this episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Crystal Face. Thank you for checking out Costume Quest 2. Check out the Crystal Face description show down below. I'm gonna go ahead and eat candy. And I'm pretty sure there's probably gonna be a fountain just out of this frame. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. So I guess I'll be uh, co-commentating, co yeah, because I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's hitting the bag. That bag takes those. <laughs> 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 this is the fairest fight I've ever seen. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen a Smash to be honest. I'm not even lying. I've never seen a Smash. That's the coolest thing. That is the coolest thing.